Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. <laughs> Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. No, you're not seeing Back in Time. It's me. I'm Lisa Wickham, but I'm not back. I'm actually here for an interview. Hi, <laughs> <Hi, Inka. laughs> I so wanted that to happen. <laughs> Guys. I know people probably jumping out like, of their chairs right now. Here. <laughs> Just to give a little bit of context, this is the first time that Lisa is back on set with us yes, since, 20, since the 26th wow. of February, yeah, 2021. Wow, good times. Lisa, you want me to eat it? You don't need to talk about the time. <laughs> but welcome back, because as you rightfully said, for once you're in the capacity of the interviewee, mm -hmm. not the interviewer here mm -hmm. on TTT as we are talking hero. Now, we've been telling you all about it all week long, the life have and you? times of Ulrich Karate. <laughs> we have throughout the night. Because it's it's an incredible film that you are at the helm of ultimately and so we are getting ready to air it again here in TTT well mm -hmm. actually in TTT for the first time. For the time, first time yes. I'm saying again because I had the pleasure of seeing yes. it. We attended the red carpet and we had the experience of understanding the incredible man that is Ulrich Cross. Mm -hmm. So let me officially welcome you back. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. And Thank of you. course <laughs> jump right into the conversation yes. because this one was a, show, a movie that needed to be done to mm -hmm. tell the story of this incredible man. Talk me through the process, the timeline at oh least. Oh my goodness, I incur. Long in the making. Yeah, very long. That took me back to 2012. Oh, so wow. actually, it was the brainchild of Anne Marie Stewart, Francis Anne Solomons. I'm so tempted to look directly to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Come have it, you know? Hazard of the trade. So it was the brainchild of Anne Marie Stewart, right. who is Francis Anne's mother and was a friend of Ulrich Cross and Desmond Alam. Mm -hmm. And, you know, both Anne Marie and Desmond thought it was very important to bring this story to fruition because of his remarkable life, mm -hmm. as we say, extraordinary life, mm -hmm. you know? So 2012, of course, I was doing Home Again mm -hmm. and then Girlfriends Getaway. So I became part of the project around 2015 when we were looking for completion funds for all that archive footage that mm -hmm. is a bit Beautiful. costly, yeah, you know, because you have to get it from Pathy and BBC and mm -hmm. BFI and so on. And so my journey started in South Africa, mm -hmm. pitching, for a, you know, for a documentary um, prize worldwide. And this little island of Trinidad and Tobago, we won. We won the prize and that just threw us into a different stratosphere in terms of being on the global scale. You know, and from there, well, the rest is history. The film was premiered at the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival in 2019, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. And then of course, um, well, 2018 was the first screening. And then 2019, we were invited to be part of the Pan-African Film Festival in Hollywood. Remember right. that? Yes, you Remember do. that? Wow. Right? So it went all over the world. Uh, 50 screens in London and then, of course, in South Africa and Canada and Hollywood and so on. And it was meant to come back, back, home. back home in 2020. Mm -hmm. And we all know what happened. We all know what happened. Right? Ended up yes. In mm -hmm. So um, it did come back. But TTT being a partner in terms of the premiere and screening, of course, has, has the rights to the premiere. Oh, I'm rubbing up on the mic. All right, yeah. I'll just take it off. <laughs> Guys, you know how I do it. All right, there I'll we just go. take it off. <laughs> Lisa, this has been so incredible. The fact that we've come back home, we're going to mm -hmm. be able to witness it. But I want to hear about the experience from your perspective, personally, working mm -hmm. on this, traveling the world yeah. in order to, what was that emotional experience like? <sighs> A roller coaster. I'll tell you one of the experiences that stays with me. Francis Ann, who is the director and writer, um, said, Lisa, when, when I was going to South Africa for the second time yeah. for the Durban Film Festival, she said, oh, well, you will stay with Ulrich's son. So I was like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> right? I know that. In then. South Africa, and she said, yes, Trinisa. Well, he's more British right? okay. with Trini parentage. Mm -hmm. He says, um, he's, um, he has a guest house in South Africa. And he said, you can stay there. Listen to me. Sounds nice. It yeah. was, yes, it was, it was lovely. But meeting him and hearing his stories and his relationship mm -hmm. with Ulrich, you know, that was fascinating. And he himself threw his whole energy into, you know, into the, the film and came to Trinidad and went to Canada mm -hmm. and all of that. As he should. So, yes. And just hearing his relationship with his father was beautiful. And also seeing the reaction to the film from people from all walks of life, right. all age groups, from teenagers and up, um, people who are my, you know, their minds are blown by the fact that a Trin Begonian exactly. mm -hmm. is so you know, instrumental in history. In history, altogether. And they, they, many people knew of him being the most decorated RAF fighter pilot in the West Indian Regiment, but 
several people had no idea of the work that he did in Africa, mm -hmm. building nations and supporting like Ghana and Cameroon. And, mm -hmm. and, and that's and exactly so. why we are airing it again, yes. making sure that people can get their taste of that story. Yeah. But it means then that since that has happened, the film festivals, the airing on television as well, <laughs> the, yes, we have seen even behind the scenes of creating yes. these sorts of endeavors. Well, let me say that because making up a hero, it mm -hmm. says making up a hero and not making of hero right. because I particularly wanted to use the hero experience as a case study yes. yeah, for persons who are interested in film or just persons who want to know what goes behind the scenes but more particularly so that it can be used as a case study in film schools mm -hmm. and so on that four part series because we have people from all walks of life from finance sector, from the festival sector, yeah. so Babu who is the founder of the Pan-African Film Festival we have him on camera talking about you know what yes. it means to be part of festivals and how you can use a festival strategy to promote your film. Mm -hmm. Dr. Keith Nurse is on looking at the economics of film and, you know, Lisa Burkett from NGC and Nigel Batiste from Republic Bank, who I must say thank you because, of course, they were the ones who fully supported this film. But he also speaks about, you know, the difference between, you know, asking for corporate sponsorship right. and asking for money that you have to pay back. Right. Which we don't like, but sometimes you have to do no, that. You know, right? no, you know. So making of a hero, I think, is very important. And I think if you're a young filmmaker or even you're a filmmaker who is established, but you still want to know more about it. Right. It's something that you can look forward to. It's on tonight, today, yes, mm -hmm. at three or five, I believe, yeah, right here on TTT. That. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also online. It's on the website, so you can just go and stream it anytime that you want. But you can't stream the movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> So you have to For tune in to TTT. Reasons. I was just going to say the, the best way to take it in is yes. to tune in, as you rightfully said, mm -hmm. tonight at 3 or 5, guys. And we will remind you of those incredible heroic stories. And we will celebrate some heroes after the break because your birthdays are coming up next. So thank you very much, Lisa, you're for welcome. joining us. And thank thanks. you. Can I just say quickly, and you're on time, oh. Republic Bank, um, Civil Aviation Authority, National Gas, NLCB, you know, these people have been part of it. And Beautiful. I have to say thank you and all the person who put their little Mm -hmm. Kakada, as we say. Give thanks for the support. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, can I put my chain back on now? You can put yes, your chain back on. <laughs> We're going to celebrate, like I said, continuing to celebrate heroes this time, celebrating them with their birthdays. You know how we do that birthday song is coming on as we say happy birthday to a few people. You say, stay on set to say happy birthday? Of course. Uh -oh. can I? Mm, that's it. Can I shimmy?